everybody. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. It's going to be a bird video and it's going to be about having avian species as pets and what they're like and how they act and Marley's a little bit nervous because there's a candle right there and he's wondering why the windows are open and why the lights are on and why I'm talking like this. So you be new. You be Thank you. I love you too. So he's been, um, he's not in a good mood right now. Um, mainly because I've not held him all morning. And birds can get like that. They can get temperamental. They can get like that. So that's one of the reasons why he's like, kind of like, what's going on, Mom? Like, why is this happening? Are you my good boy? You say hi? Say hi, Mom. Yes, you dog. You say hi. So this is Marley. He is a green cheek conure. Um, I have had many bird species in my time. Um, I started, I grew up with them. Um, I started out with parakeet, which is the perfect one to start out with when you don't have experience with birds. Um, now I was about like 10 or 11 and I didn't know anything about birds. Um, I, my parents were the ones who like came up with the idea, they're like, oh, we should get a bird. Let's, you know, I've never even heard of anybody that had birds, so we should get one. They sound cool. Um, they didn't do much research on them or anything. They just kind of went to the pet store and asked questions and we went, and the pet store lady was like, here, this is the parakeets. Um, and she's like, this one's special. You should get this one. Marley, like, stop. Be nice. Um. So she picked out a little green one for us, we brought him home, and he was our long-term parakeet pet until he flew away one day, and it wasn't his fault. Be nice. Be good boy. That's Kobe, my cat, so my pets are going to be running around everywhere. This dog that just jumped up here is my mom's dog, I'm babysitting her, and that's my cat, Kobe. He's a Russian blue, but that has nothing to do with right now, and he's a baby still. He's four or five months old now. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of pets, and yeah. So today, Marley's going to be the center of attention. Um, I have a parrot lead as well that I bought strictly as a learning bird, strictly as a breed. Get to know, like I wanted to know what it's like. Do you like that warm fire? Yeah! Um, he is really cute. He's a little parrot lead. He, I don't actually know where he is right now. Oh, it's Heidi. He like blends into the wall because he's white and blue. And I'll show him later on. He's not tame as much as little Marley. Um, Marley has an attitude naturally. He just, that's his personality. Um, he's a very sweet bird. He doesn't, you know, try to hurt you or try to bite you really. He's just, um, he can be a little bit temperamental here and there. Um, so he's just, that's just the way he is. Like, if he's grooming himself, he'll start you know, getting crabby. If you heard him do his little, like, screech noise, it's like, it's very soft, but if you heard him do that, that's because he's, like, he's, you know, warning me, he's like, stop, 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 he's, you know, nagging me, so he does that all the time, though, it's normal, and we're still, you know, teaching him not to bite. I bought him as a baby, um, he, probably a month ago, maybe, so I haven't had him that long, but I hand-fed him, for the last bit of hand feeding that he needed. Um, I, I could have gone on longer if I wanted to, but I ended it because I didn't want him to rely on that. I wanted, because I have to go to work and my husband goes to work, so we don't have time to sit here and hand feed babies. And I also hand fed his brother, which was a lovebird. And I bought the lovebird um, thinking that I wanted one. You know, I kind of did research on them and I wanted one for experience to see what they're like, but lovebirds aren't what I want, so. That I'll get into later in this video. So, yeah. I'm going to be rambling on because I'm a retard and I don't know how to talk to the camera. I pretty much just talk and talk and talk and talk. So, yeah. If you haven't noticed, I'm wearing my little um, tropical outfit. Yeah, this is supposed to be with the birds. It's supposed to be tropical, right, Marley? Because you're a tropical little bird. Give mom a kissy. Give mom a kissy. He's in a weird mood right now. He's like... I don't know, I haven't held him all morning and I didn't get to hold him much yesterday, so that's, you know, where I'm going to get into about birds, you know, like, the if you should get them situation, like, if you're in this situation, if you live this lifestyle, why you should, shouldn't get one, what breed you should get, blah, 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 so, 
That's going to be what I'm going to talk about. The main reason why I got a green cheap Conyers is because I do love Conyers. I'm a Conyers fan. Conyers are known for being very loving. Um, they're not really that playful. I don't know. Some of them are. Mine have never been really that playful. They've been very dependent on people. Um, my last one was a Sun Conyer. This is a green cheek Conyer. He's called a green cheek because he's green. Um, and he's got, you know, green pretty much everywhere. And then he's got other colors like red and red on his tail. There's different mutations of this breed. Like, they have the cinnamon green cheek. They have the, the yellow face, whatever. They have all these different weird mutations that they breed upon. They have some that are have more red on them. It's just... Breeders breed and they sell and they, you know, do that, all that kind of stuff. So they'll have different colors and, you know, he's not going to ever have one that looks just like him, I guess. So, but they'll look like him, just they'll have a little bit different markings maybe. Under his wings, he's yellow. Um, yeah, so he's a pretty little bird, aren't you? Pretty little tropical bird. He's in a weird mood right now. He's like very, like, alert. I don't know why. He's, I don't know if it's a candle and the cat. I don't know if it's because I'm talking. He's got his reasons. He's just got to get comfortable. He's being a dork right now. I don't know. Why are you being a dork? Why are you being weird? Say, I'm just a dork. Yes. You have stuff on your beak. Yes, I know. <laughs> I love this bird. This is probably one of my favorite birds I've ever had. And he's going to be my forever pet, I think. So he's not going to be one that I give away. Um, I, or that even in a situation if I really shouldn't have one anymore like financial situation I'd probably still try to keep him he's just one of those you know forever pets that you just cannot rehome because you really deeply love them and you know that they love you and you just don't think that they would connect or bond with someone else so that's just the way I feel about Mr. Marley and he I just know him I've hand fed him and that makes our bond stronger if you ever hand feed a bird you know it's like feeding a puppy milk that puppy's gonna think that you're you know it's mother so he kind of thinks of me that way um, a little bit in certain situations they he thinks of me in a lot of different ways though he, he thinks of me like birds are very weird they're not like your typical pet they're they're a lot of a mixture of a different you know animal they're just I don't know how to explain it stop be nice you be nice, mister. Um, they're just, they're a mixture. They're like, they're very cuddly, which you wouldn't guess. They have wings, you know, they can fly. His right now are clipped, actually, and that's another thing I have to get into. There's just so much that I have to, I'll probably have to make a part two of this because there's just too much to tell you about birds. Um, birds, they are very cuddly, though. They love to cuddle. Um, it just depends on the species of bird that you get. Conyers, personally, are very cuddly. I don't know why, but they just are. They're bred like that. Um, parrotlets, they can be very cuddly if you get them hand fed and stuff. I don't know anything about mine. I know he was hand fed though, so that's where I bought him from. Um, just watch, he's about to pull my dress down. <laughs> I bet that's gonna happen. Because this isn't a very sturdy dress. Yeezy. Um, as you can see, I can pick him up like this. I can hold him upside down. I can do a lot of different things with him because he trusts me. And I've had him since he was a baby. He's still a baby. He's only a couple months old. So, you know, that's just, that's one thing. Um, he steps up because I taught him how to, you know, you don't necessarily have to teach them to kind of learn. You just start to kind of press on their breasts when they're young and then they just naturally learn to step up when you put your finger in front of them. This is going to be a very mixed up, hectic video. I'm sorry if you guys aren't, you know, if some of you are looking for something and I'm not saying it yet, but I promise I'm going to say a lot of stuff that I think of on the top of my head. I didn't write anything down, so it's just going to be all scattered through this video. And I'm sorry if you're confused or like, why isn't she talking about this? Why she, why'd she talk about this and this? I'm sorry. I just, that's how I am. I just ramble and I say stuff that I think of at the spur of the moment. So yeah, that's just me. But yeah, anyways, getting back to Conyers. They are cuddly. Yes. Parakeets can be very cuddly. They're um, a cheaper breed. You can get a parakeet at the pet store, at Petco. You can even get these at the pet store. Would I recommend you getting these at the pet store? No, I would not. Do not get a bird from a pet store unless it's a parakeet. Because parakeets are a little bit easier to adapt. Oh, he just pooped. See, that's another thing you gotta worry about. They poop. You know, they're hard to potty train. Some of them you can. Bigger ones are easier to potty train. But he, I have not tried and I don't really worry about it. Usually he won't poop on me though, which is a good thing. So, I don't worry about that. He'll like poop off the side of me. I have yet to see him poop on me yet, and I've had him for a while now, so that's that's a good thing about him. I don't know if it's just, you know, he's really clean like that, or he just knows where he's going, or he just is clean. I don't know what it is, 
but as you can see, he does that. See, they're cuddly, they like to be scratched like uh, any other pet. Like, my cat would like to be scratched, the dog likes to be scratched. They like that kind of stuff. They're cuddly. They're not like a hamster. They're not, you know, like other birds or other animals, you know, that you could have in a cage. Like chinchillas, I don't know if they're very cuddly. I doubt that they are. Bunnies aren't that cuddly. You can kind of cuddle them and stuff, but they don't really show feelings towards you, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, a kind of animal that shows feelings towards you, the list of my personal experience are horses, obviously. Dogs, cats, um, stuff like that. Maybe exotic animals, too, that you can't maybe have. Um, but birds are on the top of my list. And, stop it. And if you know me, I love animals. I've had a lot of them. And with personal experience, birds are one of my favorite pets to have. Um, they're on the very top of my list because they are so cuddly and they're so unique. They're very tropical. If you want something cool and unique, then a bird's for you. If you want something tropical, then they're for you. If you want something that you feel like you brought home from the Amazon, like him, because he's colorful, then birds are for you. But you have to decide which breed is for you because not all breeds are going to be for you. They're stop. Be nice. You stop. Be nice, mister. See? They can get feisty. They can be mean. They just, they get crabby. They snap sometimes. That's, you know, that's why they're not for everyone. If you don't want to be bit, then you probably shouldn't get a bird. Mister, you better stop. Do you understand me? Be nice. He gets crabby sometimes, and he just, he has a light switch personality sometimes. That's just him, though. But, that's also why I wouldn't rehome him, because some people just don't understand why. They are, maybe just don't know why. Um, he doesn't have a specific reason. He's never been a, he's never been abused or anything. But birds do need to be dominated. That's one thing. You can't have a timid personality in own one. Um, so you just can't. You you have to be able to handle them. Um, but you have to be at the same time gentle because they are small. And they have small bones. They have small everything. They're very tiny for the most part. And they're delicate. So you have to be careful with them. You have to be calm with them. You can't show them fear. Just like a dog, you know. They're... They are like, they have a big personality and such a little body, and you just have to understand that if you're going to own one. They just, and they're curious, they like to get into stuff, you have to watch them a lot. That's just how they are. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. They're just, they're tropical animals, they're exotic pets. So you got to just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into when you get one. Now, I'm going to list the lifestyles that you may have and what bird might be yours. If you want a bird or if you never wanted a bird now you want one, I don't know. Like, it, it could come off as whatever, I don't even know. So, if you're looking for a bird and you've been for a while and you don't know what breed to get or you're set on a certain breed and you think that's what you want, but I'm going to tell you, you probably don't want it if you have this kind of lifestyle. Now, if you live in an apartment or in a small house with a big family or something like that, and maybe your parents don't want you to have a loud, messy pet or something like that. Um, maybe you, your parents said, you can get something that's caged, but I don't want, you know, you can get a hamster or whatever. Maybe you said, no, I don't want a hamster. They don't really show affection. I've already had one or whatever. Or, I don't want a guinea pig. I don't want a bunny. I don't want a ferret. You know, maybe you don't want a pet like that's in a cage. Well, reconsider a bird because birds are in cages, but you're probably going to have it out a lot. But the good thing is that when you leave the house, you can put them back in their cage, and you can clean in their cage. They're kind of like a cat, you know, you clean out their cage like a litter box, sort of. Some people scoop their cages, it depends what you put in their cage. I put newspapers, personally, or I put paper towels down. Huh. So, if you're living in a smaller apartment area, or in a small house, or your family doesn't want a large, or a loud animal, then I'm going to say probably that conures are not going to be for you. I live in an apartment, I chose a green sheet conure. They're a little bit quieter, supposedly, than the sun conures, and I wanted to try it. I did my research, I've had a sun conure, which I do not, do not, do not recommend. Stop. Do not recommend for an apartment lifestyle, for a small lifestyle, for, you know, if you have a family that will get mad at you for having a loud animal, or a family that will threaten you to get rid of it, certain stuff like that don't get a sun conure, and there's certain ones that you just don't want to get. The list of breeds on the list for you that would be good for you, if you don't have experience, would probably be a parakeet, a cockatiel, and that kind of range. Those are the good ones. Maybe a limulated parakeet. I don't know how to pronounce it very good, but I've heard about those, and they're supposed to be a little bit quieter, but they do burrow around on, on stuff, you know, if you have a blanket or whatever. 
Um, parrotlets are also known to be kind of a little bit burying. I've noticed from personal experience, mine loves to go in my pocket. He likes to go under like blankets and stuff. And that's a parrotlet. They're like a mini parrot. They're very smart. They can talk. Um, they're awesome pets. I would, but I would recommend if you're a new bird owner, get a hand-fed pet. Do not buy it from a pet store if you want something nice. And if you're maybe timid because you're new to owning them, get them hand-fed. Where to look? Look online. Search birds in your area. Search um, parakeets in your area. Search breeders in your area. Get a parakeet. If you want one, if you want a smaller starting bird, get a parakeet or a cockatiel. But get them hand-fed. Get them from a breeder. That's what I recommend. Or somebody who bought one maybe and they don't have time for it. But make sure it is easy to handle and that you can take it out. Make sure that it wants to be taken out. If you get a parakeet and it's not tame or a cockatiel that's not tame and it bites, you're not going to want it anymore and that's going to set you up for failure. You're not going to want birds anymore. You're going to be, they're mean, they bite, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just because you didn't do what, what you, you know, you need to do to get one. You didn't go and get them from a breeder. You got them rehomed or you got them from a pet store and they're mean. That's not the bird's fault. Don't write birds off as bad pets because they are not bad pets. They're awesome pets. They're really fun pets. I would recommend them for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, the starting ones, like I mentioned, for an apartment kind of situation, for a starting situation, for a situation where you cannot have a loud bird animal in your area or if your mom doesn't want one loud or dad, whatever, get a parrotlet, a parakeet, or a type of like cockatiel, something like that. That's smaller. That's you know, on the side where you can have them in your house and they're a little bit less um, loud, they're a little bit less maintenance, they don't need a lot of the stuff that maybe other bigger breeds do want. And if you're a new bird owner, do not go and get a big pair. Don't. Just don't. You're just setting yourself up for failure. You're not going to enjoy it. That bird's not going to enjoy it because it's not going to understand you. You're not going to understand how to handle that bird. Um, Conyers I recommend for, you know, secondhand owners. If you've already owned something and you want something a little bit more fun to own, um, Conyers are very cuddly, they're very fun, they can be really playful, um, mine's personally not that playful, but they do like to chew, Conyers are chewers, he chews a lot, he'll even nibble on me, like he nibbles on my clothes, he'll nibble on my hair, on my clothes, on my bra straps, on any kind of strap, if I have like a necklace on, earrings, he loves to pull my earrings, if you have a lot of, what are you doing? If you have a lot of earrings, like I do, I have a lot of piercings in my ears, he loves to pull those out, and it really hurts. He will pull out my nose ring. He, if I, if I had my belly button exposed, he'd probably try to pull that out too. Any kind of like piercing or jewelry, they like to grab at, and they love shiny things like keys, stuff like that. So they, I wouldn't consider it really playing for his breed because he doesn't really look like he's playing with it, but he likes to chew on it and look at it. So that's one thing to you know know about. See, this is shiny. My pillows are shiny, and that's why he's chewing on this. It has little sequences on it, so that's why he's looking at that right now. He's like, oh, this is fascinating. He saw it, and he's like, oh my gosh. I certainly, in my very own opinion, I believe birds can see in color. That's just me, though, because they make bird toys very colorful, and they make them very shiny. They make them metal and gold, and they make them all different types of stuff. They love mirrors. Birds can see themselves in mirrors. They love company. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to own a bird, you got to understand that you probably should get it a mirror. If it's a parakeet, I wouldn't recommend a mirror because they can get very attached to the mirror, very possessive of the mirror. Um, so yeah, but you definitely need toys for them and you need chew stuff like Conyers personally. If you're thinking about getting a conure, I don't recommend a sun conure because of their loud noise habits and for the fact that they just, I don't know, they're very friendly and kind and sweet. Now he's chewing on my back. He's chewing on like the thing on my back, I don't know. And um, they're just, I wouldn't recommend a Conyer. They're so beautiful though, don't get me wrong. Um, they're just, they're just, I don't think that they're good pets, to, in my opinion. I had one, and to be honest, he was a great, great little bird. Like, he was so sweet, and he was kind of, he never once ever bit anyone. He has bitten people, but he, that's, they just all have different personalities. You can never get one that you're going to say, this one doesn't bite, so that all the rest aren't going to bite, or 